Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 20 of I Cut to One Parade. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Mm. Mm. Chestnuts? Yeah. Oh, look at the corn. Oh my god. Hungry, even though I already ate. <laughs> yeah, she's the one who would always go. <laughs> yeah, you know, go on her student exchange program. So no matter what, she always got to see new different places, and we always got a new girl. And that was only for like three, four times, I believe. Because I think both Risa and the other girl with the pigtails, they were a part of it, essentially, even though they're local idols, but mm, I don't remember. It was so long ago. Honestly, I'm glad they're doing an episode for this.
Is everybody here yet, though? Remember the first time the song came out, <laughs> I had it stuck in my head for a week. <laughs> Such a good song. Oh, I love them so much. It's so underrated. It's not even funny.
so cute. Oh my god. This song of freaking Tiger. This song is such a go. Oh my god. Oh, best song of I got to start. Mm -mm. Oh. Yeah, but she lost. Because she lost the favors. But I have a feeling that it's going to lead you to them. Seriously? But you, at, at least you try. Mm -hmm. No, yeah. <laughs> Just let you write to them.
one to rate it as hell. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, the other goat. So oh my god. That's got to be the reason why her sister has all these idols here, to, like, have her learn lessons to becoming a great idol. Why else would she do it? I mean, besides to have all the girls and every freaking fairy all in one room together, that's, like, reason two.
that they were gonna put Lucky Train. Oh my god, that would have been so much better because the fact is, it was in this episode. It would have been so much good to just tie that all together in a nice little Lucky Train, even though it wouldn't happen to preview next week, but still. This is a good episode. I'm glad that they literally had an episode focusing on local idols because no no and Risa, they're the two of the most underrated season I mean underrated season underrated idols from Akari Chan season because I mean the focus is Akari Chan and her friends and from what I had said last week looking at the poster of the final season of OJ Akatsu we all kind of assumed I know I did and maybe probably a lot of others did I'm not 100 percent sure uh that Nono and Risa would have been the next girls in line to take the show in a new direction, and Akati Chan would have been there monitoring them, how Ichigo was monitoring her up until Aikatsu Kwan ended. It's the same thing essentially with Kimi and Yume and Aine and Mio with Rocky Chan as officially right now. But I mean, it was good. It was nice to have an episode just for the local idols, but to still have our main idols that we usually see in every single episode because local idols need to freaking shine. There's not as much as them and I'm glad that they're able to shine in their own special ways because they're always put on the back burner except like Arya and a couple others because they are still a part of that main character each of the group but yeah. <laughs> I mean, okay, so, uh, okay, for one of the final five episodes, I think the sports mess is going to be interesting, but we're getting closer and closer to the end of the show, possibly. We're not 100% sure until we see this final episode and how in the world, if it's going to be um, an ending or not, because, like I said, we really don't know. The wiki says something, Twitter says a completely different thing, because people are, like, um, essentially looking for sources every single time, and so I, that's why I'm like, I, I really don't want to believe anything until we officially get to episode 25, and then we see the ending, and then it's like, okay, is the show going to continue, or is the show not going to continue? We don't really know, but the only thing, the only big source I have is what I learned, like, I think two months ago about the time, uh, something taking its time frame once the show is over, I'm not 100% sure, but, like, I, I think, I not only heard that on Twitter, but I also heard it on Tumblr, so, yeah, but that episode was good, I enjoyed it for what it was, I'm glad, I would love to see, I mean, we've seen an episode where, yes, all, uh, necessarily all the main characters are the main idols that get used or have more than one episode focused on them, during the show, I really, because, like, Alice is one of my other favorite underrated girls. Yes, she's not, she's like Kaharu in a way where she doesn't get to see, we don't get to see her performance necessarily and everything, and I'm still okay with that today, but if you would have went, if <laughs> if we would have went back to when I was watching the last, you did reactions on, like, the last few episodes of season one going into season two of I Got Two Stars, or really just the second half, of I Got Two Stars, and seeing Alice and the way Elsa treated Alice until Alice was like, I'm going to start, um, Four Star Academy and stuff, I was like, big, big, big assuming, I was like, oh my god, Alice is finally going to get the recognition that she deserves. It's really with all these underrated idols, because with underrated idols, you're really wanting the day where they get to be, you know, able to shine on their own they're able to sing a song and such, but sometimes it never really happens because the fact is they put too many focus on the main girls. But yeah, that's my little rant for today. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 20 of I Got To On Parade. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Magical Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Sunday, hopefully, for episode 21. Bye, guys.